it's just too much. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. This is just going to have to be in like, I don't know, eight pieces or something. It's terrible. I don't know why you strings doing that. All right, so we have this piece. So it looks like this. And then you can see here how I put the connector strips in there. So then you would go ahead, put your connector strips in here. Well, let me just do a little piece. Maybe I'll just do it real quick. I think I have some scraps from last night. Oh, what happened, Carol? You got booted? Oops. Oh, she's modded. Yeah, there you are. I don't know. I don't know how. Maybe I will after, but if this doesn't work, um, I'll just have to do that. But we'll see what happens. So, of course, like I said, you would go the full length on both sides. Um, I just don't want to waste these. And you would add your glue and all that. So like that. So then you would have these four pieces put together. Then you would put the side pieces in. Yes, you have the scalp squares. So I did, you can see the difference. I hand cut this and it's not that great. And then what we did last night is we used the um, square scallop pieces. So you can see this is where I cut that out from here. And then, um, as you can see, it's a much smoother cut. So, um, so then that's how you can see. So now that, and then we're going to add these side pieces in here. So to put this one here, and I'm only going to do the one side just so that, um, let me just add this in real quick. My quarter inch tape. So you would go ahead and Add this on and then remember you also would put your glue but I'm just not going to do it for now my knife like that and then two little pieces for the side So just like that. And then you would put your glue, like I said, along here. So now this would go on. would go here, that one there, and that there. And you would do the same for the other side. So then you would wind up with this.
All right, and then for the cabana, you would do the same thing. You would cut two of these pieces. You need one, only one piece of this, and then you would put your connector strips or structure strips on these paint on these. Assemble the the three pieces, and then you would have to cut for the inside because you are going to be able to see the inside because you are going to get the mini from here. Thank you, Eileen. And um, decide before you put this together whether if you're putting on your shelf, it's easier to get your um, mini from the right or from the left. So depending on whatever you're going to put this, if you want to open it from the left, then you would put this on this side. So then once we put these three together, then we lined the inside. Then we cut the bottom, covered the bottom, put our hinge strips so you can see the, the strips are in there. And then I left this here because I'm probably going to add a little piece, like a little lip in here. But I, the most important part is this part on how to get this to fold over. So I want to show you that. So that I'm going to do step by step. I need my pattern. So pretend this is a striped paper, as I don't want to um, make another uh, Raffle 45 one. I'm just going to use a plain paper just so I could show you. Let's clean this up. Clean this up. So in order, so this would be your striped paper. This would be this, if that's what you want to use. Or if you're using your own stash, then, you know, you would use your own stash. But what we did was we lined this up. So this is what I'm going to use here. Let me see if I can get you to. I line my paper up here. And then you're going to come in here, this way, about an inch and a half. So let's mark that. I don't like this anymore. This would also be a cute tent, you know, for a circus or for camping even. So you could use it besides doing a cabana. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to actually do an inch and a quarter. So inch and a quarter on both sides. I think last night we did an inch, but we could have used a little more. Oops, inch there. Let me draw that so you can see it a little better. Inch on this side, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter on this side. So this is the tricky part. So make sure I get in here so you can see. I put the top on my glue. Move this over. Okay. So you're going to put this on here. And we're going to measure this inch and a half. So just like that. So it's coming off the page an inch and a half. And you're going to measure it this way. I would use the ruler, but I'm just going to do this for now. Just so we can go move a little faster. Then you're going to come over to the other side and do the same thing. Yeah, camping would be cute, wouldn't it? I have some great camping pictures that uh, maybe I'll do a camping one. So you're going to do the same thing. Even at the bottom, come in an inch and a half here. Inch, sorry, inch and a quarter. So you have that. Again, you would use your ruler because I'm not very straight right now. We need this middle piece. You don't want to cut this piece out because that is a piece that fits. That's this piece right here. So you're going to use this piece. So what we're going to do is cut straight across. You're going to cut this whole piece off. Then we're going to cut the pieces here.
One on that side, one on this side. Okay, so remember, this is our pattern paper, this. So I'm gonna use the back of here. I'm only gonna put it on with scotch tape so that um, I can take it off because I still have to cover the back of this. So what you're gonna do is, I want, let me see if I have to zoom out a little bit. There we go, that's better. All right, so you're gonna lay this down. This is your middle piece, like this. Then what you're gonna take is you're gonna take the angle piece. The angle piece goes on here, like that. So let's glue this down to you. And when you put your tape, you're only going to put tape on this piece here. So it's going to go like this. You're going to do that on both sides. So remember, the angle piece like this. So they're going to overlap. Then what we want to do is, I think I'll just so I can hold it here. Okay, what you're going to do is bend this back and bend this one back. Of course, you don't want to bend it so you see the chipboard, so you want to just bend it over just a little like this. So it meets in the middle. One is going to overlap the other just a little bit like this. So let me get a clip here. Just so I could show you. And you would glue this down after we do the string part, but I just want to hold this down so I could show you. What we do now is, on the original, where is it, back, you can see here where I poked a hole to put some uh, twine in here to hold it back, and the same with this one. This one I added, actually, um, I added flush to the um, cabana because we're going to put our girl on here, where this one I left kind of loose. All right, so that's what you're going to do. So come in about a half inch and say an inch up. Poke your hole, and then same on this side. Then you're going to take your twine, whatever you have, stick it through here. And you're going to tie this several times, depending on how big your twine is, how big your hole is. Hi, Ash. <laughs> My recording has stopped already like four or five times. So this is going to be another one that's got like eight or seven parts to it. It's terrible. <laughs> Then you're going to pull this down, and for this one, um, I would put a piece of score tape on here. So I put a piece of score tape right like that. Oh, I have to poke the hole first. Then you have to poke your hole in here. And you have to put this through this. And a little bit bigger hole. So it comes through. Whoops, 
and moving everything here. Comes through, you're going to pull it down. And like I said, on this one, we put the score tape because we want this side to be flush. Oh, it might not be strong enough. And I'm going to, um, once I get it down here, I'm going to add the tape. And I would add score tape to hold that down. And I need bigger score tape here. So this one will go flush, and then you'll have to adjust your little angles up here. Make sure that this stays like that. This just doesn't help that I don't have really score tape on here. Oops. Right, so that's the one side. And then you would just cut this off. And then you would go ahead and add your glue and secure that down. So it would be like that. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Put our, our uh, twine in here. Make your knots. It's probably not big enough twine. And again, you're going to make several knots. Pull this through, poke our hole over here on this side. We have that. Pull this down. And then again, add your score tape on here. get my other I need my half inch tape which should be should be right here again put this through tape I really need more fingers than I have Since this is the back, um, I'll just have to rip it off later. Secure that down. Then you would do, use your wet glue and you would do the bottom. So then you would have that. Then you would adjust your top here, however you would want it squish that down and then you would put your um, score tape across here and then glue this down so now we have this so now you have this see 
So then once we've done that, and we have our um, top all covered, I measure this scallop part here about a half inch, and I would put score tape on the top here, and then some liquid glue, and then I would go ahead and put this on here. It's hard because I have that other piece now on there. And you just want to center it. It's about a quarter inch on each side, and you would glue this down. So that is how you would put the front part of the cabana da down going on. I have this on here now, so it's not going to work. There. And then we would just have to put the flag on. You guys have any questions? <laughs> I know it's kind of fast. can't believe it took an hour. <laughs> so then next week, we're, I'll finish putting the paper on this. Um, we will put the girl on there. So, uh, so the top part will have all the blue on top of there, like this. Oh, I just popped my thing. So we'll have that on there, and I'm not gonna put graphic 45. I'll put something else on here by the sea or something for the flag. Thank you, Eileen. Um, and then this girl that um, I'll show you how to do this girl, but this is not the girl that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do the one from um, my PDF file. So that is this girl. She's going to have a big bonnet and some hair. Um, and then we'll um, assemble her all up and then attach her to here. And then we will start on the mini. Um, so hopefully we can get to the cover. And if you guys wanted to use this ribbon, um, scrap a dab -doo has it. Um, it's uh, is this the Maya Road one? I think it's the Maya Road, right, Carol? So if you wanted to use that, um, they have that there. And then so we'll do the front cover, we'll do our binding, and we're gonna try it with the craft text to see how that works. Um, I can't wait to start sewing on here. I think it'll be fun. This will be fun to do. I know Kathy's got some fun stuff too with it. Yeah, the hat's really cute on the girl. It's like a big long beach hat. Um, so, and then we'll put her little shoes and she's got some belts and stuff like that on. So, <laughs> yeah, so this is the girl we're going to do. Um, but I'll show you how to do the other girl if you want, if you want to use her instead. Oh, well, now I got to go see if this all record. <laughs> it is May Arts ri a Ribbon. Okay, good. So. So they have that, they have the scallop, um, which would make the roof a lot easier if you wanted to use that. They have that in the store, um, so that's where I cut that out. And then you use the side pieces too for the roof. Yeah, it looks orange, but it's not, it's red. Yes, the pattern is on my website. Um, well, actually, you can just, um, let me see, if you... Um, Hold on. If you email me there, I will give you my PayPal account, and it's ten dollars for the PDF file, and um, you can just send it to me then. Oh, for the girl, it's all part of it. The girl, it comes with the girl, it comes with the cabana, and it comes with the mini album. It comes with the beach ball. It comes with the um, beach pattern, um, her bathing suit pattern. Um, what else? It comes with the anchor. The anchor here. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> it didn't record last night, so I had to do it again. We had the same problem three or four times, so hopefully this one recorded. If not, I'll have to do a quick YouTube on it, so. Uh, I can't believe it. So much trouble with it so yeah and it has the beach pattern here too you're welcome so yeah and then we will um we'll start to work on the on that but we'll definitely finish the girl and at least do the hopefully the front and back cover and do the binding and then maybe the next week we can get into um into the pages 
Do you guys have any questions for me? Anything else you want to see? That I, I know I went over it pretty fast. And if you do pick it up and you have a problem, you can always just email me. I can um, give you a hand or, you know, I could show you something on Ustream in one, one of the classes. So. <sighs> Thanks for coming. At least I didn't have to talk to myself tonight. So I really appreciate you guys coming. <laughs> That's good, Dawn. That's good to hear. So I know um, I'll miss Kathy, uh, Catherine's uh, show this afternoon because um, I have to go teach uh, my last class. My other store is closing, um, so this will be my last card class in the other store. And the other store closes at the end of the month, so then you guys will have my full attention after that. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. I just hope it that this time I record, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Like I said, I know it's hard to um, to um, see it, but if, if you guys need me to do it again, I will. Just let me know. Thanks, Eileen, for coming. Yes, I'll see you guys tonight at Catherine's. No questions for me. Thanks, Margaret, for coming. It's good to see you. So... All right, then I'm going to head off. I have to still get ready for my other class and um, have a good time at Catherine's. And then I will see you guys tonight at Catherine's. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Bye.